Hello, welcome to Accounting Excel. This is a tutorial about how the cash reconciliation works. It's available in the uh, store at accountingexcel.com. Um, so the cash reconciliation has three tabs. It has a cash reconciliation tab, an outstanding checks tab, and an other reconciling items tab. Um, so the first thing that I suggest that you do is to copy these three tabs over to your Accounting Excel file. So you don't have to do this, but I suggest that you do it. It keeps everything in one place, keeps it nice. Uh, so to do this, you just hold down your control key on your keyboard and select the tabs, all three tabs. Uh, you then right click on um, any of the tabs and select move to move or copy. And then you want to create a copy. And from your drop down, you can select your accounting Excel file. And then you can see here that you can just select move to end and click OK. And then that puts it into your accounting Excel file. So now you can see we have the journal tab, trial balance tab, account detail, lists, and then the three tabs that you added for your cash reconciliation. So the, before uh, we get started, I just want to recap here. We have, uh, if you haven't seen the tutorial on accounting Excel, I suggest that you go watch that. Um, a lot of the transactions on here were pre-populated from that tutorial, uh, but the, the transactions that I added for this purposes of doing this tutorial are the transactions that I entered in on 531.15. So I highlighted those here so that you can see them easily. So the first three transactions here, I were writing three checks, one's for $50, one's for $89.99, one's for $50.45. So we wrote these checks to our public utility, gas company, and then payroll company for our electric bill, gas bill, and payroll processing fee. And then we also received $2,400 for on 531 for uh, May rent. Um, so you can see I've entered in those transactions here. So let's go ahead and get started on our cash reconciliation. Um, so Real quick, you just want to enter in your bank account information. So let's just, for the purposes of this, assume we have an operating account. And we have a payroll account. And our account number for our operating account is 4589. Our Account number for our payroll account is 3439. Um, and the balance that you would get from your statement, um, this would come off your bank statement. You want to put it in here. So for this, it's uh, 22623. And for our payroll account, is negative 8500. So the, how our uh, payroll account got negative 8,500 in there is that uh, we are paying our payroll on June 1st, um, but what our payroll company does is they take money out of our account uh, the day before, so they have it to, to pay the payroll. So they took out $8,500 on uh, May 31st that we don't have recorded yet. So that's how it became negative. So the next thing you want to do here is you want to put your amount per the trial balance um, in cell K12. So to do that, you just come to your trial balance, look at your cash balance there. So it's $24,832.56. Enter that amount in here on your uh, trial balance or on your uh, cash reconciliation. So 24,832.56. And so you can see right now we have a difference of $10,000. So the next thing you want to do is put in your outstanding checks. So we have these three checks that we have written, but they haven't cleared our bank account yet. So uh, $50, $89.99, and $50.45. So we want to add those to our outstanding checks tab. So the dates on these are all 531 15 And for check numbers, let's just start with uh, 1026, 1027, 
and 1028. Okay, and then our vendor names is public utility. Big gas company. And uh, what was the other vendor? It was a uh, payroll company. Uh, vendor and payroll company. Okay. And we just want to enter in the amounts. You want to enter, enter them in as negatives uh, because it's cash coming out of your account. So $50 here. Minus $59.99. Minus $50.45. So our total outstanding checks is $190.44. You can see on our cash reconciliation, under outstanding checks, it populates for us. Um, so then the next thing we have still a difference of uh, $10,000. So we still have some other reconciling items. So let's just, for the purposes of this, assume bank account number two is our payroll account. So let me just go ahead and change that payroll account. Go ahead and change this one to operating. All right, and then we have uh, payroll paid on 6-1 and that's going to be um, added back to our bank account because if they took it out of our account but we don't have it recorded yet so you want to add it back to the bank balance to get to our balance um, so this is going to be on 6-1-15 and then we also had rent that we recorded that we received, but we didn't have time to get to the bank. So that was a deposit and transit. Um, so that's something that we didn't, the bank doesn't have on their records, but we have recorded it already. So May rent, 2400. So those are our other reconciling items. You can come back to your cash reconciliation, see that those have populated under the under recon other reconciling items. And our difference here is now zero, 24,832.56. And on our trial balance, 24,832.56. So our cash is reconciled. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, go to the uh, store, check out some of the other items that we have. And uh, thank you very much.